Hello, this video is brought to you by Academy of Higher Learning. In this video, I will be explaining the second half of curve sketching. So basically explaining the purpose of the second derivative in curve sketching. The second derivative tells us the concavity of the function or graph. And, so, and concavity is the curvature of the graph. function. So if the second derivative is positive, it means it is concave up. So basically it will be either like something like this or like this. So if you see that it's basically like a smiley face. And if it's uh, less than zero, it is concave down and it will be something like either this or this it will look like that and it's kind of like a frown face so something like that now if you're probably wondering what if it f prime of x is zero then if f prime of x is zero equals zero it, there it's called the uh, it's said to be the point of inflection so point of inflection or IPS and basically what they are is uh, telling us that the curvature of the graph changes changes in the curvature curvature and pretty much changing is the concavity in other words so that's the pretty much the main purpose of second derivative it tells us the concavity and here's a small example. So f explain the curvature of the following function. x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 3. So basically the first thing we have to do is find the first derivative, which is 3x squared plus 6x plus 5. And then you find the second derivative, and that will be 6x plus 6. And next you find the IP in point of inflections. And so you can do that by factoring. And putting it to zero and you find that the IP is one the point of inflection is x equals minus one and keep in mind that the point of inflection is only when f the double prime of x equals zero it's not like um, it's not considered a point of inflection if it's undefined at that point so here the point of inflection is minus one I'm going to change the color so draw a chart f double prime of x and f of x so basically anything left of um, f double prime of x is going to be negative and anything right will be positive and basically uh, for the original function it means that on the left side it is always concave down and on the le uh, right side it is always concave up so that's a simple example and next it the second derivative can also tell us the max and the min uh, so basically it can, uh, it's kind of another way of finding uh, max and mins after you find the critical points so, and the reason is that is because if you think about it remember what I said about concave out being like a smiley face so basically it's like uh, a local min or uh, absolute min and concave down being a um, kind of like a sad face being a uh, local max or an absolute max so basically once you find uh, your critical points you can um, find your second derivative and sub that critical point in and if the result is like say uh, you get a positive that means it is a uh, um, min uh, yes, it's a min. And if it's negative, that means it's a max. So, here's an example. Like, find all the max and mins of the following function. Uh, so, f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 8. And since it's second order, uh, you can tell there's only going to be 1. So, if you find the first derivative, you get something like uh, 2x plus 2. And if you put that to 0, we know the critical point is x equals minus 1. 
So once we know the critical point, just find the second derivative, and that will be just 2, sub in the critical point, x equals minus 1, which shouldn't really make a difference because there is no x value, and you know that's going to be positive, therefore it is a min, and in this case, an absolute min. So that's pretty much it about the second derivative, and mm, given the first two, like, given the parts of the first derivative and second derivative, you can literally draw any graph. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Please visit our website, ahl.info, to view more videos like this.